Hey guys, thanks so much for tuning into my channel. I am so excited to be talking about my favorites from the last month, which is June. Cannot believe it's July. I'm probably going to say that every time I do monthly favorites. Um, but July 4th is on Monday. Can't believe it. Anyway, this month started out great with a trip down to Washington DC for TNNA. So if you are interested in finding out what my favorites are for the last month, then just keep watching. I just wanted to do a little housekeeping and talk about some of my past videos. One, I had mentioned if you were interested in seeing a video on how to recalculate a pattern for your gauge if it, differs, if it differs from the patterns gauge to give that video a thumbs up. I think that was my May favorites. And I got an overwhelming response to that. So that video is coming. I've been playing around with that Pearl Soho Linen Quill yarn in, for the lightweight raglan pullover for that video. That yarn is amazing, amazing. I liked it when I swatched it. I liked it in the skein. I liked it wound. I love the color range, but knitting with it more and more it just gets it just gets better I highly recommend it also if you are interested in winning a plucky knitter dendros wrap kit which would include five skeins of cashmere and uh, my dendros wrap pattern please watch that video to find out how you can enter that giveaway that closes July 15th so you have a couple weeks to watch that video and to enter which will take you zero time I just wanted to mention that on to this month's favorites. So earlier in the month I went down to Washington DC for TNNA. It was a great trip and I had a great time and I got to see some old friends. One of which is this company called Tulip. They're a Japanese company and they they basically produce tools and notions for crafters. They sort of came onto my radar. A few friends of mine introduced me to their crochet hooks which is what I'm, I don't know if you can see but I'm waving it around. But this is a tulip crochet hook. I will definitely post a closer up picture of it, but it is the best crochet hook in the entire world. I've been using these for years. It has a divot in the grip, so it's great. Um, you know, it's the perfect place for your thumb. Um, it's comfortable. If you hold your crochet hook like a pencil, your forefinger um, fits right there. The, the hook itself is, you know, it's just pointy enough the divot in the hook is just deep enough, and the finish on this, any any yarn I've used to crochet, it just glides so, um, so perfectly. When I saw Tulip at this year's convention, it reminded me that last year when I had actually first met them, um, they gifted me a an interchangeable knitting needle set. I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I'm not the biggest fan of interchangeable sets. I have never been able to find one that I like, they either break, they either come undone, they come unscrewed, or they're just not good. At, but my, I think the the biggest problem I've come I've come across is the join. I just don't feel like the join is ever smooth enough. It's so aggravating for me to have to kind of push my stitches over a join that isn't smooth. I decided to give the Tulip interchangeable needle set a try. Um, this was the set that they gave me. I believe they're repackaging this situation. This metallic blue and mustard yellow zipper is um, weird. <laughs> they were showing us some prototypes this year of a new design that, um, that they're coming out with, which I think looks a, a bit nicer or more modern. This is what the set looks like on the inside. It is bamboo, uh, comes with three cable lengths. I'll put um, details up on the screen. And there are, I think, three reasons why I love this set so much. One, you simply screw the needle to the cable, so there's no little, you know, wrench. The Addy clicks, while that's pretty ingenious, God forbid you just put lotion on, I like could never, my finger would just slip over those metal barrels and I could never kind of get it press it in to actually do that twisty click thing. Anyway, this just screws on, and you won't be able to see it, I think, in this video, so again, I'll put a close-up of it, but at the base of, you know, where the threads are of the screw is this sort of rubber, it's like a rubber gasket. It's like a little rubber stopper, and when you screw the needle tip on here, you'll actually feel it kind of suction 
on and never ever have any of these tips ever come loose come undone they just sit right there all you have to do is screw it i love that this is a rotary joint so between the cable and this um, piece of hardware um, it just spins this whole thing just spins love that i don't think that they're the only ones that do this i think there's another company that has a rotary joint but so good and honestly the best part about these is that the join is completely smooth i have never ever had a problem having to kind of pick my, uh, my stitches over the joint, they don't get caught there. I mean, just absolutely perfect. I generally work with metal, uh, metal needles. I even told them at this year, I said, if you come out with an inter interchangeable set that has metal tips, I was like, I'll be buying those. So maybe those are in the works, we'll see. Having an interchangeable set is so handy, especially if you're gonna be traveling, um, or just for more options since I have about 1,000 needles on projects that are not that are not done. Don't judge. Hopefully you'll be able to find them in stores more often um, because this this is definitely hard to find. Um, I've noticed, and um, you know by the looks of the foot traffic that I saw at TNNA in the Tulip booth, I do think you're gonna be able to find, um, find their needles and their crochet hooks um, a little bit more readily. So keep an eye out for those. If you are interested in these, always ask your local yarn shop, you know, oh, do you have those Tulip needles? Do you have those Tulip crochet hooks? Well, I also, at TNNA, was able to catch up with a store owner that I got to know through kind of a bunch of different people. Her name is Gail and she owns the Cornwall yarn shop up the Hudson. I had lunch with her and she showed me some of her own yarn that she's developed under her brand which is Hudson Valley Fibers. This is her worsted weight. It's called Moodna, M-O-O-D-N-A, and this is the color Morel, which is the most glorious natural color I've ever seen. It's 40% um, New York State Romney and 60% American wool. It's worsted weight. It's um, a 100 gram skein. It has two, I think, 266 yards. You can only get it on her site, which is the CornwallYarnShop.com site, and I believe it is $18 a skein, which is amazing. The natural color, no slight to the colors, but the natural colors in this yarn are really, really stunning. This morel is just, it's just the bomb. So there I am in Washington, D.C., and in the midst of, you know, monuments and history and museums, and really all I did, all I did um, outside of TNA was go to Fiber Space in Alexandria, Virginia. <laughs> that was my one um, excursion. That's what I decided to do. Um, yeah, I had all of these grand plans. I wanted to go to the National Portrait Gallery. I wanted to go to the Smithsonian. I wanted to, uh, you know, hit the mall at night and walk between the monuments and maybe take a look at the White House. Whatever. I went, I went to Fiber Space and got more yarn. So I got this BC Garn Samilla Fino yarn. Now, a friend of mine had traveled over to Europe, I think last year or the year before, and she brought back some yarn, and it was this yarn. It was BC Garn, but it was the worsted weight, the Samilla, I believe, um, yarn. It's 100% organic, organic wool, and you can't believe how soft it is. And and I wish I could find the, the balls that she brought back for me, but um, you virtually can't find anything in my hoard. So anyway, so when we saw this and fiber space in the U.S., because we hadn't been able to find any in the U.S., we were ecstatic so i got this it is only 7.95 a ball it's a 50 gram ball there's about 265 yards in this in this ball and it is just glorious i mean it's it's wonderful wonderful yarn and i also got uh, two skeins of hedgehog this is their skinny singles um this is in the colorway cry baby and i I mean, who doesn't know about hedgehog, right? It's <laughs> it's hand dyed in Ireland, and this happens to be 100% merino wool. Um, these are 100 gram skeins um, for 366 meters. So that's about 400 yards each. And 
yeah, I just thought it was a lot of fun. This is definitely outside of my, you know, this is this is kind of like my wheelhouse, and this is kind of outside my wheelhouse. So, so this will be fun. I have no idea what I'm, but they only had two, and I got both. So, so ha, it's mine. Yeah, so that's what I got at Fiber Space. So what else happened at TNNA? I stopped into the Barocco booth to say hi to Amy Christophers, who's the um, the design director. I think that's her title, design director there. And um, she had a preview of um, a pattern booklet that they're coming out with in the fall, and it's called Barocco Portfolio. The first one came out last fall, which was Volume One. So this is Volume Two, and it features their vintage yarn and their ultra alpaca yarn. So they're two sort of, they're like, their core yarns, their workhorse yarns. So, um, so I actually got a copy in the mail from them, and um, I actually have a design in it that I'm pretty proud of. I really like. It. Um, so I apologize, this is a shameless plug, but I'm just going to talk briefly about it. So this is, um, this is the pattern. It's called Diné Cardigan, and it's in their Ultra Alpaca Chunky, and I believe the colorway, because they basically use numbers, but I believe it's referred to as Tiger's Eye. So it's a great heathered, kind of pumpkin-y color. It was great, it was, I actually knit this sample. <laughs> And the Ultra Alpaca Chunky I had never worked with, um, and it was great. It was great. You know, one of those yarns that has um, no surprises, which as a designer you really like. There were no gauge surprises. Um, it didn't do anything funky as I, <laughs> as I started knitting um, or after I blocked it. So I really, really enjoyed using um, their Ultra Alpaca. Um, but this, this book has 16 designs. It, I believe, retails for $17.95, so I think that's a great, it's a pretty great value. Um, it has really awesome designs in there, and um, this is definitely one of my favorites. This is the Dagny Cowl by Cecily Glawick McDonald. I love this one by Beatrice, too. This mended, mended pullover. So there's a ton of great um, patterns in here. I really love this um, pattern booklet, and you should be able to find it at any yarn store that carries Barocco, um, which is a lot. So, um, so anyway, and I believe all the patterns are on Ravelry as well, if you want to take a closer look at, at the detail. I have one more highlight from TNA, which is Mayak. So um, I spoke to Paola after um, the show, and she was really, really happy with the turnout that she had in her booth. So I had mentioned Mayak in my sneak peek design video uh, in her Chubby Yak the New Base, and I had mentioned that, you know, she's not very widely distributed, she's still a fairly young yarn company, but I think after the show you're going to start to see her in more and more yarn stores, which is fantastic. But I did want to remind you, if you wanted to place an order, through me, you'll get 10% off over any orders of $100 or more. You can contact me at gageintention at gmail.com. I'll flash that email up right now. But I just wanted to throw that out there. That was great news from Paula from, from TNNA. So just a few more favorites. So two that I wanted to mention from Jones and Vandermeer. Um, this is a brand that I carried when I had Gage Intention open. Emily, who owns Jones and Vandermeer, they're an online shop. I'll put her URL up right now. And she also has some private label yarns that she sells through her through her store. She also wholesales, which you can find at a few stores um, across the country. I love her site. She just has, you know, she doesn't have a ton of merchandise, but it's it's like perfectly curated. She has all these things, basically that you never knew you wanted. You know, you go on there and you're like, I love that. I have no idea what that is, but I love it and I have to have it. One of her newest yarns is this yarn. It's called Curious Copper. I have two colorways. Curious Copper. This is Naked and this is Bit of Grey. It is 50% organic baby alpaca, 48% pima cotton, and 2% copper. And copper is supposed to have like an anti-stink. Um, characteristic to it so I think that as speaking as a stinky sweaty foot person this I think is gonna be great great sock yarn and she also has a linen yarn it's called lustrous linen and this I did carry at gauge intention 
but I thought I'd mention it because it's a summertime and this is probably some of the best linen I've come across that I've worked with. It's not particularly crunchy. It's like this chainette sort of um, construction. The colors are really, really subtle and beautiful. It's it has a sheen, but it's not too shiny. I really, really love it. I, I wish I could speak more eloquently about linen, but I'm not like a linen connoisseur and it's not a fiber that I use often, but there's just something about this that I really enjoy. Um, these are 50 gram skeins, 170 yards. Um, she recommends a needle size of six to eight. So anyway, so lustrous linen. Highly recommend. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you saw that I got um, a lot of <laughs> I got a lot of plucky knitter spiffy yarn. I am so in love. This is the colorway Map Room, which is like a really cool brown. It's almost it's almost a gray, and in fact, I think on camera it looks gray, but it's actually like a cool brown. Um, but this is similar to the yarn that I mentioned in my May favorites, that Katya yarn, where it has like a core and then it's got the fiber blown through. You get this great like halo effect. The, the spiffy is 60% cashmere, which is the blown fiber, the fuzzy fiber, and then the core is 40% silk. I absolutely love this. I got this in three colorways. I got the map room, I got the urban colorway which is a light gray, but this batch came out a little bit purpley periwinkle, which is really, really, which is really pretty. Not what I expected, but very pretty. And I also got Twill, which is amazing. I mean, just a really beautiful, warm, um, light, like super light, light gray, just kind of an off-white. And I swatched the Twill. I swatched this on fives, and I love this fabric and I don't know maybe I'll do a close-up shot of this for you but there's like a, just a little bit of a halo it's so soft and I think the silk really kind of keeps the structure of this yarn so I'm so excited about this yarn I have plenty of it now three different colorways hopefully I'll have time to do a design in this I have to make time you know when you feel really strongly about a yarn I gotta make time so I love the spiffy. Last but not least, I have a wool soap. I usually use the Unicorn Fiber Wash and Fiber Rinse. If I'm short on time, I just use the Fiber Rinse. I had just run out of it, so I went on to Twig and Horn, twigandhorn.com. It's a company that's um, owned by Quince & Co. It's like a retail shop of theirs. And I wanted to get their wool soap, which has lanolin in it. So I actually contacted them to see if they would send me a bottle for review um, to hopefully mention on this video as my favorites. So they sent me a bottle of the white grapefruit. I just want to I just want to say that they they only sent this for me for review. I am not getting paid to, to just say nice things about it. I used it. I really like it. I love the white grapefruit scent. I'm a big fan of like fresh citrusy scents. You know, all the other fiber washes I've used, they're great, um, but they all have, you know, they all smell nice. They all smell clean, but I really like the citrus. So this white grapefruit is a really nice change for me. The swatches, the like five gazillion swatches that I um, soaked and blocked in this came out really um, soft and lovely. It didn't damage any of the yarn in any way. I just really, really enjoyed it. I love this glass bottle that it comes in. My only complaint, and it's so minor, and I could be the only one, is the actual um, opening here. It's this little kind of shallow cap, and while it looks really nice, you know, um, sitting on your bathroom sink you know you just have to pour it out and it always ends up I mean I'm kind of spastic but it always ends up like dripping and I'm sitting there wiping it off and I just really hate that like I loved the unicorn because it just had that pump I would just sit there and pump it the soak is good too because you just press and then you squeeze I mean this is glass so you couldn't squeeze but I like those kind of dispensers and I think maybe even if this neck was longer it would be easier. I don't know. That could just be me, but I'm kind of, I'm choosy about little things like that. But other than that, I really, really like this and it's retails for $17.50 and they have three other 
um, well, two other scents. They have one unscented, and then they have lemongrass and rosewood. And I think when I'm done with this, I may try the lemongrass. Before that, I may just try putting this into my own pump, pump dispenser, or find one that fits this. I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to. Those are my favorites for the past month. If you have any, please um, comment below. Share your favorites with us. I would love to hear what your favorites were, are, have always been. And thumbs up this video if you enjoy favorites videos. And I will see you next time. I don't have the others here. Hang on one second. I mean, no, having. It's the summertime. Ooh. Knowing...